houses is nothing. It's just green on green on green. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Hello everyone, welcome to this epic Minecraft tutorial. And why is it epic? Because I say so. So in today's video, we're going to be making holograms. We'll be doing the ones that you see on Minecraft servers. So today I'm going to show you how to make them. So you can start off by typing in slash summon Minecraft armor stand. There you go. And then three squiggly lines for the position. And then two curly brackets at the end. So now if you summon the armor stand, you'll get, um, well, an armor stand. Not very exciting. But with these curly brackets, we can type in custom name. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say that these things are cap sensitive. Then a colon and then two hyphens. Then in here, you can put in two curly brackets. Then in here, you type in two quotes. Then you can type in text. After the quotes, you put in a colon, then two more quotes, and then whatever you want to type in here. I have no idea what to type in here. Oh wait, I have an idea. There we go. And now if you summon the armor stand, in the chat it says, summoned new, uh, that. But the name is not showing in the game. So, so if we go back to the last command, after the hyphens, we can put in a comma. Then in here, you just type in custom name visible, then a colon, then one. So now if you put this in, the name will always appear, but you can still see the armor stand. So, uh, so to make the armor stand invisible, we're just going to go to the last command, put in a comma after the one, then just simply type in invisible one B. Now, if you hit enter, the armor stand is invisible The floating text. So now you have a hologram, except for one problem. Now let's say you actually want to kill this thing. So to kill this armor stand, we just have to simply look at it, then type in slash kill. And then after that, you'll get the armor stand's UUID. So you can just press tab on that and press enter. So now it specifically kills that armor stand and no other entity otherwise. But you can also color in the text and give it styles. And I feel like I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately that revolve around just text. So to give it a colored name, we just have to go to the last command, then put in a comma after the quote, then two more quotes. Then in the quotes, you just type in color, then colon, two more quotes. Then here you can just choose any color of your choice. Here's the list on the screen now. Also in the description. So I'm just gonna choose dark underscore red and then hit enter. So now our text is red. Well, dark red. You can also add custom styles to the text. I'll put all the styles on the screen now as well. So I'm just going to put in obfuscated, then a colon, and then two more quotes. Then this is a true or false statement. So I'll just make this true. Hmm. Hey Cortana, translate this gibberish. Why are you opening the browser? What? <clears throat> anyway, but you can also have multicolored text. So just before the hyphen, you're going to put in a square bracket before the cu curly bracket, <clears throat> and then put another square bracket on the other side. So now if you put in a comma, then two more curly brackets, you can type in the exact same thing. This time the color will be blue. So now if I input this, oh, would you look at that? More gibberish. Oops. As you can see, we put the obfuscated in the red text, but we didn't put it in the blue text. That's because some statements actually copy the code from the other statement, which sometimes it gets annoying. So to simply get rid of a style in another statement, you can put in a comma, two more quotes, then type in the same thing, but this time make it output false. And there you go. It is now um, somewhat readable. Another thing about armor stands, if you just TP all of them to yourself, with this fancy dancy command. Oh wait, to yourself. Well, the armor stands just uh, fall, which is not really good. So another thing you can do is right after your custom visible name and just all that. Another thing we could do is if we put a comma before the curly bracket, then put in no gravity, then a colon, then one B. So now this will summon an armor stand that's not affected by gravity. So if you just teleport that armor stand to me, atomic, there we go, boop. All the other armor stands fall, except for this one. So now I can just move this wherever I want. And to move the specific armor stand, you can obviously just do slash TP, tab, then atomic. So now it will always teleport to you. So 
So with this you can move around the armor stands at will, then you can create some very nice looking holograms, just like the servers. If you want to know more about custom text in Minecraft, I'll leave a few videos on the top right of the screen. Those videos will show you how to use custom names on items and in chat. So I suggest you go check those out, please. Oh, funny thing, if you go into spectator mode, you can actually see all the armor stands. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Oh, how convenient. It says like and subscribe. I think you should do what the hologram says. Pretty good advice. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.